Welcome back everyone, Tone here, and today we're going to be playing some Golden Crone Hotel, taking another shot at a new weekly challenge. This is still on the pre-release branch of the, the new update. By the time I upload this video, the update should be out or maybe about a day away. Um, nothing big has happened, like significant changes to the patch since um, the last time I played, and probably nothing significant will be happening um, by the time it's actually released. Uh, so this is basically the, the final patch, I believe. Last week we played the Revenant, um, that unique disguise that only heals on potions and not passively or from blood. And we met our end early to a huge crit from a scary golem. You gotta be careful with those, I guess. Um, Shoutouts to Athros and Acro, who finished that weekly. Um, got wins with four rings each. Athros actually streamed it in my Discord server, and a bunch of us, including the developer, were watching, which was a lot of fun. This week we have the Challenger. Every other week you get the Challenger Disguise, which is a completely random one. It is not one of the normal selectable ones. And has random stats and potions, and every everything it has is random. It looks like we start as a vampire. I don't know if they always start as a vampire. The two times I've seen it have been vampires. I assume sometimes it probably starts as a human as well. We get plus two strength, minus two dex, minus one intelligence, and plus three HP. Minus two dex really hurts early on, but plus two strength is pretty nice as a vampire. We get a blink potion and an ale, the disappear spell. Um, arc enemies, these are three enemies each week for the weekly challenge that are higher level and more difficult all around than normal. The rat soldier, the wolf, and the goblin bomber. Um, I was curious about this, so I, I talked to the developer and they said the Goblin Bomber is the same thing as the Goblin Anarchist, which is, I think, what you usually see it described as in-game if you highlight it. Um, and I was also curious after playing the, the Anarchist was in the one or two challenges ago. I don't remember if it was last week. I think it was two ago, the one that I didn't record. I, it didn't seem like the, the damage of his explosion was any higher, and they confirmed that, yeah, that part is constant, but they're harder to kill before they explode. If you're trying to like kill them from range and they hit harder so um, that's good to know but yeah these are all early game enemies and we're at minus two decks which makes this seem like it could be a very difficult challenge um, wolves come in packs rat soldiers are already hard to hit and we're going to be even harder to hit with our minus two decks so this should be interesting and probably pretty damn difficult early on Idiot Hawker. There's a rat soldier already. I have a feeling if we fight that, we're just leaving it up to chance. Maybe I'm underestimating our 18 strength. Um, I'm really concerned about our dex, our accuracy. I, I think there's enough variance with that rat soldier is already a hard to hit enemy. And then we're at minus dex, which is already like, make it makes it harder for us to hit things. And then they're higher level. I think we could get a string of misses that just kills us. And they're faster than us and they do poison, which is really bad early on. I think we just avoid this floor until we feel comfortable fighting that. It says it looks very menacing, which means it's higher level than us. All right, let's skip this floor. At least this half of it. I'm trying to stay in the dark here. Um, I can tell like which doors are lit up by their tile. Oh shoot. Okay, he's out of mana. I don't want to fight him here because there's no place for the blood to drop. So I'm actually going to pull him back. And we actually one-hit him, which I didn't think we'd do, but I get blood out of that. I would not have gotten blood if we fought him on the, the first tile he was on. Wow, was he just, like, sandwiched in between two doors? That's kind of funny. Oh, jeez. Snake, rat soldier. This ain't good. And a bee. So much poison. 
Cool, I got the B blocking the rat soldier. I'm gonna pull this guy about so we can get the blood again. And I think I'm gonna ignore the B. This looks like a dead end. Okay, it's not. I believe the rat soldier can see us at night. Oh, jeez. Firestorm, shock. If I back up, we're probably gonna get shot by shock. This guy's gonna firestorm us either way, and I can't get blood in this corridor again, so I think I, I want to back up. Okay, we got kind of lucky because it took this guy two turns to move, so now he can't shock us if I move down here. He'd even attempt. So our strength is really carrying us right now. We're one-hitting mer mercenaries with that strength bonus, which is pretty sweet. I don't think any of the starting roles have a strength bonus like that, except for the Berserker who starts as a human, so I'm not used to that. Really cool. That strength does give us damage reduction, which should offset our low dexterity, which means we have low evasion. All right, let's try to finish the right half of the floor before the sun comes out. Okay, so getting our decks up is essential, but also this one point of strength is equal to two points. I think it's greedier, but could pay off. We're going for it. It's definitely the fun route either way. Ooh, potential experience potion there. It's most likely to be food though. Teleport potions, although those could also be summon monsters. Interesting options there. Firestorm. Yeah, so we just went from 18 to 20 strength in vampire form from by going from 12 to 13. 20 strength is a lot. Especially for this early on, that's pretty awesome. Ooh, shoot. Okay, the sun's coming up on the right side. That, I was going to say that rat's over here somewhere. I think he knows where we're at. So, you know what's interesting is even though I can't see him, I actually know his position. Little cheat you can kind of do with the map here. I can probably actually kite him around. I don't know if he'll lose us eventually if we stay out of his line of sight. Uh, it looks like he's already lost us. If I open this door, he's probably going to come to the door. No, he didn't hear that. I'm con I don't want to go to the right because of the sun is going to hit us eventually. I'd like to wait till he's in a spot where we can, like, dodge him. Okay, I guess he couldn't see us anyways. I was concerned that I was just a little close there. I was going for the lantern, and as I did it, I realized I should have checked what spells this person has. Aromatic potion. Let's not go down yet, because the sun's down there. Statue form, strength, and blood are all pretty good for us right now. That's what that bubbling potion is. Actually, the aromatic's pretty good all around as well. Okay, that's most likely to be soul elixirs. I'm just based on generation probabilities. Alright, should I keep going up? I think we will. Still a little afraid of those rat soldiers. Left side of this map is about to get lit up. I should probably get out of here, actually. Yep, there it goes. Hedge maze. Probably not somewhere we're going to go this run. Uh, there's no ring there, and our score is partly based on turns. Oh, I should be kiting this guy a bit. That was really dangerous. 
But yeah, since our score is based on turns and there's no rings there, if we can avoid that, the reward is basically food at the end, and I guess some early experience. Um, if we have a way to deal with the, the enemies and the boss there. But it's just going to cost turns, so if we can avoid that, we end up with a higher score at the end if we don't go in there. Alright, time to raise our decks. Alright, so Golem plus B. Bees are terrible for vampires because they're low health, but they poison you, which does a lot of damage. The blood you get is based on the health that they had. So we can't heal much off the B, and that Golem did a number on us. Golems are pretty dangerous for vampires as well. I should probably turn into a human right now. If we run into something, we'd probably die. Just gonna jump into the hedge maze where there's no enemies. And I'm pretty confident this is a soul elixir, so we're gonna go ahead and use that. Um, I, I picked up a primer, so it's gonna tell us what this is. It's a strength potion, and I'm just gonna full heal. Almost full heal. I guess we'll save turns like we were just talking about. I could turn back into a vampire right now, which is probably what we wanna do. Take advantage of that strength bonus, but also the gun and the disappear spell are pretty good for maneuvering around these um, enemies that are early on very strong. So I guess we're pretty good in both human and vampire form. A plus three sword and shield, which we don't get the advantage of in vampire form, but we do in human form. I guess we can chill in human form for a bit. Maybe we can get some extra XP off of the vampires we haven't been able to kill in vampire form. Fact, I wonder if we can abuse the sunlight. It's it's actually the moon's out again. Okay, there's one of those wolves. Alright. Kite him a bit because he he moves slap faster than us. Alright, not too bad. They usually come in packs. Not this time it seems. Okay, that's a monster room. Oh my god, it's open. <laughs> That is a... I'm not going to call it an error, but that's not really how those are supposed to be generated. Um, it's kind of terrifying. Usually that's a 3x3 three three room with doors on all the sides, a piece of loot in the middle, and a bunch of monsters. I will forget about us. This guy's gonna teleport to the blood. Let's see if I can lure him into the sunlight. Free kill. Haha, <laughs> gotcha, dude. Leave the frog alive because they are valuable. They, they don't chase you, and they're pretty valuable to fight as a vampire. Because they give you lots of blood. Alright, I'm going to clear the early floors again. Actually, did I miss something here? In the middle? No, okay. So there's a frog on floor 3. Let's remember that. Whoops. Oh, I hate that. I wonder if I can disable that. All right, I've been turning off all the torches, but now that's going to be bad since we're human. All right, so there should be some vampires up here, which are free kills. Ooh, especially when you crit him for 32. I'm not going to approach the, the rat. Actually, I can approach them from this one, I think. Nice, another crit. Ooh. Got the jump on me. Wait, where'd the other one go? One through two?
Where did the vampire go? Oh shoot, this guy turned into a vampire. Or er, a uh, werewolf. It's fine, I wanted to uh, kill him anyways. Uh oh. Right, uh, let's go kill that rat assassin now. I believe we should get more experience from them. Ooh, this is a little closer than I wanted to be. Cool. Um, 15 damage killed them. Okay. So if we can hit them, they die. It's good to know. Even like in vampire form. I'm probably stop being quite so worried about them. I'd be a little more comfortable if we had one more dex though. Oh, look at that cloudy potion. It also has the gain level on it. I'm happy with most of her potions so far. Nice. Yes, take advantage of that sunlight. Raise her dex to 10. Take advantage of all that sweet sunlight. These giant floors are great for that. Look at this double sided beam. Double tile with. Oh no, this is the downside though. It also makes these things stronger. That was close. Tempted to let this turn into a mushroom for extra experience. It's something I never really did before except in speedruns. But I feel like that might be valid in these uh, weekly seeds where you're trying to play a little more optimally. Let's see how it goes. I wonder if they take double damage from sunlight when they get two moves. If it only factors at the beginning of the player's turn. Getting them big crits in. Ward, haste, and miasma. I like ward and haste a lot. Haste a bit more. Haste increases our DPS. It lets us be able to run from things. I feel like I used to use ward a lot, but haven't got a ton of value from it lately. Rado, we could dip in there for potions. We're going to go there eventually. see. Yeah, we're going to go there eventually if we want to get every ring that we can on this run, uh, which is like the completest win and also maximizes our score. Uh, but we could go there now for potion. Sometimes I like to save that when I'm ba like back here later as a vampire. I can go in there for blood. Let's see, there was a frog over there too, I think, right? Keep that in mind. All right, let's go up. Two Shermarin potions. Probably honey. We determined that that other one was glow. How did we do that? I have three blink potions. Interesting. See if this is game level. Curry noodle soup. Huh. This is an interesting seed where food is on three different potions. And um, we were talking. Oh, and maybe that maybe that got fixed in this patch. That's probably why. And um, we were talking a while ago in the developers Discord, and food, blood, and um Soul Elixir, like all the most common potions, are most likely to be grouped together. And that doesn't make that interesting, especially when three of those options are food, which all do the same thing. <laughs> and then they give you safe options next to Blood and Soul Elixir. Um, so having them separated amongst more potions with more diverse effects makes it more interesting to for this potion identification system this game has.
Which, by the way, is one of my favorite ID systems that I played in a roguelike. I don't think it's good for every roguelike, but I definitely like it a lot. Plus five leggings. Greenhouse. Peek our head down there. That's too dark. Ooh, that's a wolf pack. You can see the chevrons um, in the darkness. Okay, I think we should be okay against this. Okay, so we're, we're, we're doing all right against like these early enemies. Let's stop rest and heal up. We haven't seen any of the, the bombers yet. Honestly, 13 strength is about as high as I might take it for the rest of the game. Definitely keep cranking our decks, I think. Intelligence is an option. We have a 13% failure on our spells. We have two very good spells. I want to raise decks a little bit more, but we should definitely put a point or two into intelligence just so we can cast these spells consistently. 13% failure means you're it's going to fail at a bad time. Alright, I was trying to rest the heal up, but we ended up turning to a vampire, that's fine. I wonder if I should play faster. Since there's a, a, a time-based leaderboard too. I shouldn't worry about that, it doesn't make for as good commentary. Oops. A manual. Let's buy that manual. Plus one of a stat. I want to buy this effervescent potion because silence is really good. Actually, all of those are pretty solid different options. It's solid or silence like really makes a few of the bosses much easier. Um, and let's take the soul elixir. They're always quite valuable. I want the rest of those potions as well. I probably won't pay for the curry noodle soup, but these other ones that are randomized are all good. The bullets are good as well. We have 13 currently. Probably a resource that I tend to underuse. Gluggy. Got a gluggy potion. Antidote Aether and Flux. Oh, these guys are hostile now, that's right. A little bit of trouble hitting those guys with our, our decks still. First guy, he, he upgrades himself with, um, I, I think Deft gives him more dexterity or evasion. Uh, no keys yet. I can turn into a mushroom immediately. Let's explore this side before the sun comes out. It's a lot of brawlers. Sorry, bed. Oh, shoot. Good timing. That would have been scary if we were human. 
I still haven't fought one of those like fairly. I've either been like way over leveled or I've used the sunlight, which is kind of the intent of these guys. They're strongly resistant to everything except for sunlight. But I don't know how that plays out if you don't have sunlight. <laughs> It's a weird map. This probably connects around. I feel like that corner has to be full. Well, I guess we're not going over there for now. The rafters. Oop, this is our first bomber. I think we just let him explode us right here. And take the blood. There's a rat assassin. Not much I can do about that. God, our strength is so good. I wonder how comparable that rat assassin was to the... Oh, wow. He just blasted this guy with my asthma, trying to hit me. Um, as I was saying, I wonder how good those rat assassins are compared to the buffed rat soldiers that we fought earlier, because they're basically just a higher level version of them anyways. All right, it is night again. Let's go check out these. Oh, Hawker. There is a key. Expensive as heck, though. I'm going to save my money for now. Since all the vampire threats are cleared, I can safely turn on lanterns. So if we come back here as a human. It'll be lit up. Sorry, I was just thinking about whether I wanted to walk over here. There was a thing over here that'll give us money. Is that bronze? I wonder what... Nah, let's go get it. Actually, I don't know if I can afford to get that. I need to heal up. I guess we can. We passively lose our health at the moment, though. Oh, it is better than what we had. Okay, it's an upgrade. I'd almost rather have the money. We can book. It's about to become daylight on the right. Or the bottom, I guess. A lot of vampires. Ooh, or Calcum Shield. Pharmacopia. That's interesting. They both attacked, but one guy shot behind him, I think. This is actually a little dangerous. So the mana guys I know bleed. I attacked this guy and he didn't bleed, so I should probably attack the mana guys to begin with. That was a little scary of a situation. And that's exactly what I thought it was, was a tree. Again, every enemy has, and you, have random sprites on this map. It's a pretty safe place to be as a vampire in general, and it's full of potions, which is great. Pharma 2. Now that is a dangerous place. What's up, Vlad? You look a lot like General Aerobase. Yeah, about that. You saw nothing. All the bosses are here. We got Vlad, we got the princess.
cool. Got a bunch of potions now. Four blinks, five soul elixirs, two strength, two soups, three ales, two of those effervescents, which could potentially be silence. I'm liking our, uh, this character so far. Pretty good shape, although we need to heal. I can walk out here and just get, like, crit immediately. See, the sun is on the left. We'll finish exploring the right, the rat assassin. Wow. Are we faster than him? What's going on here? Okay, I'm gonna keep raising my decks. Probably consider raising our intelligence next. Not much of a consideration in vampire form though. Man, those guys are dodgy too, huh? Oh, it's a Solmanar. I shouldn't have done that. Okay, he can't see me. I wanted, I was afraid of moving down left where maybe she wouldn't follow and then he'd move and shoot me. Uh, but she just shot me anyways. And then I got slowed. The Sand Viper is a little scary. Cool. Heal up off of that. So I can either take a hit, most likely, and bring him downstairs. Take two hits, probably. Or if I want to minimize the hits, I keep backing up. I think that's what I'm going to do. There's another stair to the right. The problem with getting off of this stair is that there's that Solomonar and other guys behind him. Not oh, great. I don't have the blood, though. This is a bad position for him to catch up to us. Fortunately, we are still quite strong, apparently. Explore up here a bit. I can turn this... Nope. I was like, none of them would be able to see me. He saw me already. Oh god. Oh, hello, Hidden Hawker. Another person wedged in between two doors. Nice shop you have here. A little small. A manual. Hmm. You gotta come back for that. Oh my god, another Solmanar. Yeah. I'll be slightly risky taking that fight. How much damage have they been doing to us? Oh, they haven't been doing like any damage. Well, it did 18 and 2, 3, 2, 4. Ooh, where to go from here? We're getting to the point where I think we want to turn back into a human. Seeing those two Solonars made me think that. In which case, that intelligence will come in very much handy because we're also getting to the point where there's going to be enemies like nobles and stuff that we want to be able to run for from. Dexterity is always going to be like super good though. I think I will go for intelligence. Green Solmanars are actually like helpful.
Nice. I like this guy in the water where he's slow. 34 gold pieces. We're going for it. So I can buy that manual with that. I don't know what potion is blood yet. Probably that yellow one where you have three of. I think... Let's go back and buy that manual now. Because I'm probably going to run into a situation where I might turn into a... back into a human, just to, like, avoid dying. It's over here, right? Just wander off? Oh, shoot. Like this situation? Where did she go? Did you wander this way? You did. You did. All right, manual is ours. I think we have two of those in our inventory. So turning to a human is actually very strong for us. Okay. Maybe I can go down here and not run into that Solmanar again. We're low on health, which is scary at this death, at our level at this death. I'm really curious. See if the graveyard's on this floor. I'd love to go there as a vampire. Stay away from the sun. Stick to the top for now. Whoops, I just gave him a free attack. Hmm. I was wondering if poison gave you, like, poison resistance while you had it. Another manual. That is just fantastic. A lot of these things, huh? Good thing we don't have a whole lot of trouble killing them at this point. Library. Quite a posse out front. Oh, this guy found us again. <laughs> Mr. Green Solmanar. A lot of pools on this floor. All the stairs are on the bottom left. All the upstairs. Okay, I want to greed. Mm, how greedy do we want to get? Oh, shoot. This is actually annoying. I wanted to come down here to get blood off of him. I guess I have to just kill you. Oh, here we go. But him approaching the hallway when I was stuck between the sunlight meant that I couldn't um, get behind him to pick up the blood, which is the only tile it would have fallen on. Hmm. Yikes. Well, let's just avoid that. That's why going that far is pretty dangerous. Might have to do this without... The graveyard. Guess we can give it one more check. I think we kill him real quick. It's a time thing. Okay, 
that guy's over there. Keep these turned on. They cannot see in the sunlight. Thanks. Kill you. Oh shoot. Woke up. Yeah, that, that time thing didn't last as long as I thought it might. Admantine Revolver, plus nine. Very nice. God, this floor is covered in velours. I don't think it's worth finding the graveyard. So... Hmm. Kind of just want to turn to a human so we can read all our books. I have a lot of soul elixirs. Haste level 2, blast, cleanse. Cleanse is pretty good versus the Gorgon Queen. Levitate, Firestorm, Shock. I don't think we're going to get to the point where I'm doing a lot of offensive casting. In my experience, you want higher level spells, which have high fail rates at low intelligence. And you want to raise your intelligence to reduce the hunger costs, which hunger is probably not an issue for us, but it also makes them more powerful. I'm not planning on raising our intelligence a lot, so I don't want to lean into Firestorm or Shock. Levitate is useful in a couple of scenarios, though. Not like the most useful utility spell, but it's pretty good in general. Uh, we got one Strength from our manual. That makes it a little tempting to raise it again to get us up to, what, 23 strength in vampire form. Currently, we're at 21 when we're in vampire form. Uh, we get a primer. I really want to know what this is. If we had two silence here, that'd be awesome. But distinguishing big and recall is pretty significant as well. Recall senses a maelstrom, which is not something we want to do. So I think that's the one we have to lean on. And it was, what was it, glow? Or invisibility? I think that's what the other option was. Really curious to know what this is. I think we can find a situation where at least getting two of these is good. The third, this one's probably only going to be useful fighting the the boss in um, Pharmacopia. Oh, this guy's hostile now, huh? Oh, shoot. Did I just kill myself? This room has like two or three of these guys in it. How much damage have the nobles been doing? 13, 12, 10. Okay, I'm going to risk going upstairs. I, I don't think a crit kills us either. The next hit definitely has a chance of killing us. Um, Actually, this is blood. This is probably blood. It's not blood we die. Well, Petrify might save us. I think we drink this. I think that was the safest thing we could have done. Uh, my first thought was to blink away, but I didn't have any actual ways to heal once we blink. I didn't have like a known teleport. Actually, I don't have anything that's even a chance of teleport. But I do think taking that blood was the safest thing we could have done. Yeah, that was dangerous. Ooh, an imp. Extremely menacing. I how much damage will do to us. We have 37 health. I feel like I don't have enough blood to use it to heal. I want to attack this guy though. Yikes. Is 
17 turns of visibility. I went ahead and I blinked away and then used our invisibility potion. Hopefully we can get away from him with the invisibility wears off. That guy's pretty damn dangerous as well. Oh my god. Soul elixir time. Oh, teleport. That's a good one. Lens is good for pharma and gallery bosses. Levitate is kind of... Um, I think Levitate is actually stronger as a potion in the mausoleum, which is what I was thinking of. You can go around and scoop up all the stuff in the corners of the boss lair. Yeah, let's replace Levitate. Teleport's definitely good. All right, I just need to, like, heal. We didn't get to heal that much. I can cast Disappear now, though. Still at... Uh, oh, no. 4% failure. I did raise my intelligence. Or, no. I raised it once, and I got another plus one from that other manual, apparently, which I didn't notice in the, the log. God dang, a ruby golem. <laughs> Oh, that was a haste potion. I just need to, to heal. All the downstairs here kill me because they were all in that room with all the nobles. Shoot, there's another golem. I think these golems could crit me. Shoot! Time to teleport. This is a really good sunlight position. Oh, he must have heard where I landed. Right. I just like heal up here. This is a really good place to go downstairs. We could probably kill all the nobles with the, the sun. I think this is the one that dropped me in the bottom left. I probably want to take this stair. I can't really get there easily. Mm, it looks like it might be too late now. All right, this was a good place to heal. All right. Ruby Golem. I'm going to cast haste. Yikes. God, this is scary. All right, we got to teleport again. Getting very hungry. I'm concerned that there's like a Valar around the corner. I'm going to cast this up here. And eat. Where the heck am I going to heal? Let's go up here again. Okay, if I go down here, I think we can kill all those uh, vampires. Um. Oh wait, our strength is 15. Did I get two strength ups? I, oh, I had three manuals. I got two strength ups and an intelligence up. 15 strength. That's going to be 23 in vampire form. Wild. Okay. I'm happy with my strength and intelligence. I think we're just going to crank dexterity for the rest of the game. Wait, that didn't do enough damage to you, buddy. the other one? Oh, did I bring... I brought him upstairs, right? Okay. Now 
Now this floor is pretty safe. If I can lure guys down here. One at a time. Don't run into any Belors. One of the problems with fighting up there is the Belors can hear you even if they can't see you in the light. So you might like attack one of these guys and then all of a sudden you get a Belor on you. Or Balor, I don't really know how to say that. Why did he back up into the sunlight? Oh, was there blood there? Doesn't look like it. Oh jeez, there's a Valora up there too. Being vulnerable if one of those around is extremely dangerous so i definitely should not have come here and like this is completely hindsight based on what's gone on here and i don't think the floor was likely to be this awful although as i say that it's awful we get a manual i don't think it was this likely to be this awful as it has been uh, but this is pretty dangerous, just the way things have been here. And we've kind of taken some risk where I feel like we probably could have died. I guess one of the issues with level 9, it's dangerous to begin with, but it's also big. So it's going to be hard to find this. Oh, uh, top right. Literally like the last place we looked. Huh, here's another one of those. Oh, this is part of why this level was so bad. This is another one of those monster rooms and it's opened. It's generated incorrectly. So there's like nine more enemies here than there were supposed to be. Jeez. Oh, look at that. There's a staircase of the graveyard in it. How weird is that? Oh, <laughs> this place is full of wolves. Okay, this shouldn't be too bad now. torches around this one use my glow potion oh I think I was standing on a torch when I used it I know we're a vampire Wait, how do you read the tombstones? I thought you hit T. Hmm. You were able to read those. I think I'm hitting the wrong button. Actually, let me make a note of that. I thought it was tea, but apparently not. So this, the graveyard's pretty bad for a, uh, a vampire usually, because you can't heal off the skeletons. And there are wolves, but they're kind of rare. Once you get down here though, you, yeah, you want to be a vampire. It's a very safe place to be as a vampire. Just enough weak enemies around that give you blood. All the hard stuff is really 
friendly to you. We're already decked out. <laughs> like, the loot that we do find here isn't going to be that amazing for us. I think the blood dropped on that noble, so we didn't get it. Another Admantine Revolver. 384 gold. Woo! We're gonna go on a shopping spree after this. Evil. Two Moros at the same time. An Admantine sword. Mithril greaves or leggings. More mithril leggings, other leggings. Mithril breastplate. If the sword's an upgrade, the mithril leggings are an upgrade. Just copper revolver. It's not an upgrade. Um, so do, do I just fight this guy? I think we do this. Disappear. Oh, I don't have any mana. I'm gonna cost eight. What was I at? Hmm. I want to cast haste. So let's wait. He shouldn't be able to see us. I don't know if he's gonna cast. All right. So we're fast and invisible. I'm gonna use this. If it's acceleration. Oh, I thought that was deceleration. Shoot. All right. We're gonna use it. It's silence. Okay. That means Vlad can't do his thing and summon enemies on us. This is very good for us. He still is very difficult to hit. I'm gonna blink away and shoot him. Oh my god, that was a bad blink. Oh, we're not in silence anymore either. This is bad, okay. I turn back into a vampire. Jeez. For a second, he had no health. I think he just healed off a blood. Man, that was so close. Does disrupt steal mana from you? Nope. Just lost health. Oh, that's annoying. We almost had him. Look how close we were. That blink put me over here. I thought it would put me up or down. That was like the furthest and most awkward blink. Put me in water next to a noble or whatever's over there. I need to heal and just finish him off. But if I rest to heal, he's gonna... I wonder if I can get blood down here. Actually, does he heal? He's a vampire. Maybe he doesn't heal. Sweet. Regardless. He's at full mana. I'm gonna get him to like a choke point. Something like this. We turn to a human. 
Okay, the noble came on us. We're surrounded by him and a noble. If I cast haste, can I cast teleport? It costs eight. Not quite. We're just going to attack him. He's summoning. Oh my god, 22 health. I don't think I can do it. Yeah, we have to teleport out. Oh! And that that is why. Because we could have died next turn if we didn't kill him. And I realized there was a 4% chance we didn't get the teleport off. And of course it happened, and we got... It, it was a bit of a low roll for us to die there too, I think. So that was like super unlucky. I was playing pretty damn greedy there. The safe thing would have been do to do would have been to go down and kill the the werewolf, probably do the Gorgon Queen and the the Princess of the Library, especially with Silence. Those all would have been like free kills. Strigoi is like nearly a free kill with um with that Silence potion. I could have used it again, but I wanted to save it. I didn't think we needed it the second time. I was really hoping that he would summon something weaker than a, a noble next to us, but the noble like moved right in. That was like a series of unlucky events. I don't know if it was bound like to come to us because I was playing a little greedy there, but I thought we were doing relatively safe. Um, and I, 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 I was a little too persistent at the end there. I, I probably should have left instead of returning. That was like the, the misplay. But I'm trying to like save turns as much as I can here. I don't want to backtrack out of a branch if I can help it. I, I know there's not a lot of people playing the weekly yet because it's not public, I guess. So I probably could have gotten like a top score regardless if I just play this out safely. But I want to practice like maximizing the score for these weekly seeds. Um, and that does involve taking some calculated risk, which is kind of what we were doing there. I guess I could have turned into a, a vampire again, but then we would have just had to leave because there's no way I was clearing that room as a human. Wow. What a fun run. And once we killed him, like, we probably would have gotten the other eight rings in, like, 20 or 30 minutes. Usually you can start snowballing from there. We were pretty damn strong at that point. Um, wow. Well, I, I have a feeling that was fun to watch. That was such an ending there. So I don't feel bad for dying there. It's definitely fun to play. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, I'm going to... If you guys like seeing these i'll keep doing them leave a leave a comment below if you enjoyed that if you want to keep us seeing these doing these weekly challenges every week and yeah if you enjoyed watching the content subscribe to the channel thumbs up the video um, leave feedback like i was just saying i like hearing what you guys say and um, see what you guys want to bring i've been changing the, the content up a lot on the channel lately and it seems like people have been liking it just doing different things playing new games so um, i always try to see what you guys like and take your recommendations to heart also, do check out the Discord um, if you want to join the community. We're always playing games like this. Um, like I mentioned at the top, Atheris actually streamed his weekly run uh, on the Discord because you can do, do like a Discord stream. It's pretty like one-click kind of deal. You don't have to set up OBS or anything like that. And a bunch of us were watching and chatting, and even the developer was in there. It was a lot of fun. Um, so we do that and lots of other stuff. We got a, ro a NetHack round, round Robin account we've been doing and lots of fun stuff. Lots of positivity there too, which I love to see every day. But yeah, thanks a lot for watching guys and till next time, see you around.